This is a picture of what is believed to be an entrance to Raven Rock, a once secret bunker the U.S. government built during the Cold War as part of its continuity of government plan in case of a Soviet nuclear attack. And this is the board game, Raven Rock. Raven Rock is a two-player, asymmetric, hurry tactical race based on a fascinating segment of Cold War history where the first to victory doesn't always mean winning the game. During the 45 to 90 minutes it takes to play Raven Rock, players will feel the strain of uncertainty that mirrors the uncertainty during the Cold War, considering questions like, who will launch first, who will we save, and will we have time to do it? As the US, you need to build a continuity of government plan because of the threat of a Soviet nuclear attack. Your plan has five categories, and in each category you need to purchase a cog tab and begin placing success cubes on the tab. During the game, as you draw intel cards, you'll be given an opportunity to flip the tab to see if you're successful. If a green cube is in the green square, that system is successful. If you're unsuccessful, it will be a great detriment should the Soviets attack. On your turn, you will draw four priority cards. You will allocate up to three of them. You'll take at least one action, and then you'll discard down to seven cards. Your priority cards can be allocated to complete a project, gain a success cube, to one of your bunkers, to place a military target, or removed from the game to gain a benefit. As the Soviets, you will need to research nuclear capability expand your military, and exploit assets because of a fast-approaching U.S. strike. On your turn, you will first decide whether you want to gain five currency from the supply to your treasury, or take direction from the center. Then you will take at least one action. During the game, each player will thwart the other, and neither player will know what the other is truly doing. And neither player can advance the escalation track which means that a strike or an attack is imminent. Each side has multiple paths to victory. The US can complete a capabilities update or gain enough intelligence to strike the Soviets. The Soviet side can research its nuclear technology or analyze its intelligence to determine the secret technology the US has been working on. Once the decision has been made whether or not to strike, attack, or retaliate, the game ends. A player may gain the victory, but after points are totaled, the highest score wins the game. I'm Adam Holt, designer of Raven Rock. 